Welcome back, everyone. We have Emma joining us, of course, from Life Untethered Coaching, and uh, really happy to have Emma here on the show to, I don't know, once again, kind of just let make us sit back and, and just, uh, you know, think positively. Uh, you kind of ground us here, I think. Aww. That's kind of what it is, Emma, <laughs> and we really appreciate it. Today, we're talking gratitude, which I think is is a, a word that uh, we all need to to think about and we need to practice gratitude, which we sometimes forget to do that. Yeah. Just you, because we're so busy doing all these other things, right? Mm -hmm, that busyness. Yeah. Yes. So how important is that, first of all, to make sure that you are sitting back and being grateful and, and practicing it, gratitude? It is life-changing. It really is. The, as a life coach, I help my clients with relationships, with finances, with their careers. Yeah. And I teach them so many different tools, but the one universal, most powerful tool that you can use is gratitude, and that will help transform any aspect of your life. Right. I, a couple of years ago, was um, talking to my life coach and explaining that I'd just been having like a horrible time, nothing was going right, and she asked me questions, and you know, what have you been doing? And realized that I'd not been doing my gratitude practice for a couple of weeks. Oh. And I got back into it, and like you said, then my energy came back down, and I was grounded, but without that, I was in that kind of scattered place. That's really so, interesting. Yeah. And that was just really not doing it for only a few weeks made such an impact on you. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, it is, uh, as you say, the the most important thing to, to most important aspect, I guess, to making uh, us think positively, to making us live those better lives. So you have a fun little exercise that you wanted to share today on the yeah. show. Um, just giving us a, a, an idea of how to practice, because that's another question. People might go, well, what, what do I do, Emma? I mean, what do you just sit back and go, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for that. But no, you've got some really neat ways of, of practicing. Yeah. And, you know, I teach you all kinds of things here, but if you're going to do one thing, listen to this one okay. thing, do okay. this. And it only takes like, literally you can take 60 seconds to do it or you can make it longer. Okay. And it's, it's called the rose thorn and bud. Okay. Exercise. I think we have a graphic. So okay. We'll put, there beautiful. It is. Yeah. So picture a rose. You've got that blooming rose. Yeah. That's a highlight of your day. Okay. The thorn on that rose is a challenge yeah. that you overcame in the day. And then the bud is something you're looking forward to tomorrow. Oh, I and love so it that. really is that simple. And you reflect on your day thinking about what was the highlight of my day yesterday? Yeah. You know, or like I do it in the morning and in the evening, so I kind of repeat it. But what was the highlight of my day today? What was a challenge that I overcame and yeah. what am I looking forward to tomorrow? And they can be like super simple things. Mm -hmm. Say, you know, I think about a highlight of my day yesterday was I went out for dinner with a friend. That was really wonderful. Nice. Yeah. yeah. A challenge that I overcame was the heat. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone are gonna have is going to have down. the yeah. same thought. <laughs> And then, then my bud today is, um, I was actually really looking forward to coming here. Oh, yeah. hearing that. But you know, it, it can be anything. You yeah. can choose from all aspects of your day. And you could do this. And this is the part that makes it so easy to incorporate into your day. Because once you get used to it, yeah. you're already looking for those things throughout the day. So like you're that. already primed. Yeah. But, you know, an idea that you could do is you could do it at the breakfast table or the dinner table with the family. Mm -hmm. And then you're sharing, you know, what's going on for you and teaching your kids gratitude yeah. as well. You could do it um, journaling. That's really powerful as well. One of my clients sits down and writes like when he gets home from work and does it. Wow. And like I say, I just do it out in bed. Like yep. last thing at night, I think about my day. And then first thing in the morning before I get out of bed, I remember the day before, and, and that just bookends just sets, my day with gratitude. It sets the tone, too, for your day, right? And, yeah. and sets your mood and sets your energy level, I'm sure. So what does um, uh, gratitude, just practicing gratitude, of course, as you say, is is just going to ground you. It's going to, to set you up for, a, for a success in your day, I guess you could say. But what does it do to us? I mean, what is the... How is that possible? How does it work? You know? Yeah, right? Yeah. Aren't we magical? I, we are. I'm, just... I'm like, tell me the science behind this, Emma. No. <laughs> so we've talked about like the yellow car phenomenon before. Yes, so if yes. you think yellow car, you'll see yellow cars. If you are thinking negatively, you're going to find negativity. 
Whereas if you're thinking positively, you're going to find more positive. Yeah. And it really is that. It's training your brain to rewire, to be, to default in the positive and to be looking for I like that. things to, to be grateful for. Yeah, so it's up to us to, to do that, to train our brains to, as you say, default into the positive. Yeah, because yeah. as, as humans, we do tend to be in the negative. Yeah. Um, it's just part of our survival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it just is what it is. Yeah. So, you know, I accept that and know that if you put in just a little bit of work each yeah. day, you can make a difference. And, and I did want to touch on, like, I know some people find it hard to find things to be grateful for. And so what I advise my clients to do if they're doing that is to really narrow down their focus instead of trying to think of like the whole world. Mm -hmm. Think about basic needs like food and shelter. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's you're grateful for whatever you had for breakfast. Um, yes. Your thorn was um, overcoming the heat again. Oh, that's all of our thorns. <laughs> and you're, that's all I can think about yeah. right now. And you know, your, your bud is looking forward to getting into your comfy bed. Yeah, so you can, you can narrow small. it down to to a, a smaller scope rather than trying to think about the whole world. But, wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I love that. That's a great exercise, an easy one, as you say, uh, to get us started practicing gratitude. Thank you, Emma. Always a pleasure. <laughs> There's more information on the screen to reach out to Emma. Uh, <laughs> Lifeuntethered.com and uh, Facebook, Instagram there as well. We're back in a moment. <laughs>